Hey guys, welcome back to Eddie Family Farm. So Brandon has not been home. I'll turn this off. He has not been home all night. Um, I think he might have came in one time during the night while I was still sleeping, but he is still out and about with this tornado. Um, so most of you have called and text and emailed and I thank all of you, but some of you may have not heard or you don't, you don't watch or you haven't seen the news or anything yet, but, um, a town that we visit daily, Sulphur, Oklahoma was hit with two that I know of massive tornadoes. I think they're actually calling them EF3 right now, but there is so much damage to downtown Sulphur, and I want all of you to put up some prayers. Um, as of right now, we don't know of any fatalities, but there is a lot injured, and um, a lot, even way more than that, have lost their home, and they're going to be having to start back from scratch. So please, if you want to do send up prayers, or if you want to do donations, don't send nothing to us. They have um, spots in Sulphur. I'm sure you can find it anywhere on the media and kind of find out where to do, like send water or clothes or anything like that. So I'm just letting you know, don't put it on here. Don't send nothing to us. We want, I mean, we want it to go there. I just want everybody to know that there are a lot of people without houses today. And um, luckily it didn't hit our place. Now I think the animals might have got a little bit scared because we did have one fence down. Um, I've already put it back up, but I'll kind of show you where that is. Um, but nothing, nothing major. The only thing that pretty much major happened here was both of our ponds are completely full. There's no water that can get into these ponds. So, um, but that's why I'm videoing today for Brandon. And he did share a little clip, um, from Sulphur because he's been working over there trying to help in any way he's got um they've had to get stuff out of or off houses off of cellars so that people can get out they've had to get um mattresses and stuff that was blocking the bathtub because some people just go straight to the bathtub if they don't have anywhere else to go um, they've just had to clear out a lot of debris so that's where he is and so i'm going to take over his channel today and kind of let y'all know, it feels like it's starting to sprinkle now. Just letting y'all know that we're all safe, but everyone around here needs your prayers. So I'm going to go ahead and show the clip of what Brandon sent me. And then we'll get back and I'll show y'all around the farm. Okay, so we're back, and I'm going to take you down here to the pond before I get rained on because it is starting to sprinkle, but I'll kind of show you the overflow and stuff too. So you see over here, this is our main road right back there, and you can see the water just gushing down. So we got all of this, and it is completely full. You can kind of see the rain on the water. So we've been wanting to fill our ponds, but not like this. Um, not with tornadoes bringing everything in and everything. But 
we'll get back up here and um, I'll show you where the gate was kind of apart. See, on our way to the actual gate up there, here's our small pond, which doesn't look too small now. The barrel is completely out of the water. You can still see the T-post that is still in there, but it's completely full. It actually kind of overflowed back over in this area, you can see. But, all right, we will, we'll get back up here to the gate. What are y'all girls doing? A lot of water right there. Okay, so this is actually where this was pushed, pushed out and this was actually open. But we got lucky enough that these animals wasn't here. They were actually down because their gates open back there. So they are actually out eating grass and everything, grazing. So I don't know which one did it or if it was the rain that did it, the wind that did it. I don't, I don't really know. But it was open and we were lucky that all of the animals were still in here. And then also the girls. I went and checked on them because I know they've been out, but they were they were safe and they were doing really good. Hey girls, come on. I knew Milky Way would run away. Hey Juliet. Hi sis. Hi, how are you? Did you brave the strong, strong storm? Huh? Yeah? What about you, Stevie? Hi! Hey, sis! Was that scary last night? Uh, was that scary last night? <laughs> I know it was. Super scary. But, um... So we did, we, me and the kids, and Brandon at first, um, we were in the shelter and um, that's when Brandon actually got a call that, or while well, he was listening to his radio and it was saying that there's people trapped in buildings. So that's a sign to him that he needs to go and help because it's gonna just only get worse. So he went out and, um, he actually started helping with all of that. And then he went to his brother's house because they live in Sulphur. And then a second tornado started coming. He called me afterwards and said that he's in the shelter because once he got to Brooke and Cody's house, the how like the tornado went right over them. And he said he thought that door was gonna uh, sling off the hinges. And um, so they went to the shelter, which they have one in their backyard. And um, somehow, which by the tornado, they actually have a building right beside the cellar. And it actually ended up on top of the cellar door. So Brandon, his brother and family, um, they were all trapped in the cellar, but luckily, People knew it, and I don't know exactly if they called out or someone saw it. I don't know, but they ended up getting out, and they were safe and everything. The house has some damage to it, but their lives are still here, so um, we're thankful for that. And so that's pretty much that. I, I'm just, it's so scary being this close to something. Um, I'm just so thankful that there was, as, as of right now in our community, there was no lives lost. Um, I've heard 
that there was actually um, some in, I think, Marietta and over by Ada that lost their lives. Maybe some other places too, but I just can't say it enough. Just send, send y'all's prayers. I just, I don't know what other thing to say besides that. But um, on that note, we're going to, I'm going to take y'all up here to see kind of what they've finished on the barn. It's not completely finished, but I figured I can show a little bit of that. And then I'm going to actually have to, I got the three youngest kids, but Leighton's still with Nana Papa. I'm going to go and grab him, pick him up and get him back to the house. So let's go see the building. Okay, so we're walking up this way only because it's super, super muddy and I did not want to drive the side by side over here. But I'm kind of scared too just because there was a snake over in there. It's gone now, but it doesn't mean it's not back. But you can see that we they've gotten a lot of the barn still put up. I think they're getting up one to two panels a day and obviously they're not out here today but it's a work in progress <laughs> and it is gonna be pretty big it is so they got that front side and then that's the first one so i'm guessing they're gonna keep doing these ones and then just kind of go around this way and then we'll actually, oh, I'm thinking. And then we will actually um, do the ceiling with the tin. And then I guess this is the little dude that they're actually putting it up with, which that's gonna be, tractor's gonna be stuck for a little while. My, ooh, look at my boots. Just from walking in there. They're so heavy right now. <laughs> but. Anyways, we're going to walk back over here. I'm going to kind of kick my boots in, wipe them in the grass, and then we're going to go check on the animals. Um, I checked early this morning and, like, checked on Moonspot just because, you know, she's the main pregnant one. And, I mean, obviously I looked at all of them, but we're going to go in there and actually make sure the babies are okay and everybody so follow me in there okay so there's a bunch of them right there y'all are loud don't jump good girls down okay so they look let's see i'm just looking i'm just looking see moon spots right there She just isn't going to have them kiddos. But what I'm going to do is actually kind of walk back here because these goats have been getting stuck in this fence back here. So I don't want any of them to be stuck and without water or food or anything. So we actually had to cut some wire yesterday. I hear an airplane. There's been helicopters, airplanes. Look right there. It's about to come in that opening. There's been all kinds of aerial things, drones, a bunch of things, and um, just flying over. There's kind of like a little stream here. We're going down that way. But anyways, um, what was I saying? We had to cut some, um, some of the fence down over here because they're, the goats are getting in and getting their heads stuck. So I don't see any right now, but I bet the stream down here is high rising. I'll kind of show you. I believe it goes all the way down into the 
um, creek down here. Oh, there's a squirrel. What are you doing, Toby? What are you doing? So you see this? Now, I'm not, it, it comes from this pond up here. It's like the overflow from the pond that's right back here. And it comes down here and all the way, and it goes all the way back to the very back to the creek. So it stays fairly, the creek stays pretty ro risen when there's flood stuff like this. We had so many warnings yesterday. We had flood advisory warning. We had flood, just straight out flood warning. We had tornado warnings back to back to back. My phone was going crazy. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning, everything that you can think of. So, ooh, it's so muddy and I'm gonna fall. I don't see anything right here, but I think, where was it? It was somewhere around here that actually one of them got stuck. Was it right there? But what they're doing is they're getting in here and then they're also getting their head stuck in there. I bet it was up here further. Let's see. I don't know. I can't find it right now, but these goats are nuts. They are very nuts. But I'm just glad that I don't see any goats' heads stuck in there. And we've been doing this little walk around every single day for the last few days because once they figured it out, it's like different goats try to get through it every single time. I'm like, you figured it out? I mean, you're not going to get through it. But anyways, since we're good here, we're going to make our way back up to the chickens. I think the goats just noticed that I was back here because <laughs> they are going crazy. But here's the pond and it is super, super risen. It's insane. You can see all the debris and stuff inside of it and just nastiness all inside of it. I tell you, it's getting hot and humid too, because it keeps sprinkling off and on. Not heavy, just like more like a mist. And now the sun's starting to shine out. It is humid right now. It's nasty. Hey girls. Hey beautiful. Alright. Did y'all survive? Y'all look like you survived. How about y'all? Ooh, y'all sure sure did. Look at them eggs. Wow. Y'all made some good eggs. Splashes. They got a few eggs in there. Other chocolates. Y'all made me an egg? We'll come get those in a little while. I just want to check on y'all. Yeah, just checking. Alright. So, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on here. Really, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are okay. Um, Sulphur needs your prayers, Ardmore needs your prayers, uh, Marietta, all these towns that got hit by these nasty tornadoes, they need your prayers, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, um, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and call Brandon, though, see if he needs um, anything else. I called him earlier, see if he needed, I needed, I wanted to make sure that he was eating, and he said, yeah, they have a station up there that they've been bringing water and food and stuff up there. So, um, 
I'm going to call him and see if he needs anything else before I actually go and pick up Layton. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God bless.